Hello everyone and welcome to the classification of hotels part 6. In the last video we discussed about room and bathroom supplies and the criteria for public area and rooms for differently abled guests. It was all about accommodation facilities and other infrastructural facilities and supplies. However, hotels are much more than that. Sometimes we visit hotels just to dine or party with our friends and relatives. So today we are going to discuss about food and beverage outlets. These are places that are active in welcoming all resident as well as visiting guests for a meal, a drink or maybe just a snack. There are variety of outlets like restaurants, bars, coffee shops, etc. Food and beverage that we order and consume are prepared somewhere and that food and beverage production area is called kitchen and when we talk about hotels kitchen it is a lot different than what we have at our homes. Well before we discuss the criteria for F&B outlets and kitchen let's understand the concept about the grade A cities. Now how are they classified? It all depends on the population density. More the population of the city, higher the grade of the city. And what all cities fall under the grade A category? Delhi, which will include hotels in Gurugram, Faridabad, Ghaziabad, Noida and Greater Noida. Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Bangalore, Pune, Hyderabad, Sikandrabad. Talking about the food and beverage outlets, for one and two star hotels, minimum one dining hall which will serve all meals is mandatory. However, for three star hotels, one multi cuisine restaurant, come coffee shop which will operate from 7 am to 11 pm is mandatory along with room service facility which will be available for 24 hours. For four star hotels, there is a comparison between grade A cities and other cities. In grade A cities, multi cuisine restaurant come coffee shop is mandatory, which will operate between 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. A specialty restaurant may be indoor or outdoor is mandatory. In case it is an indoor restaurant, it should be air conditioned and it should serve a specific form of cuisine. Of course, 24 hours of room service is mandatory. In other cities, a multi cuisine restaurant come coffee shop which will operate from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. is mandatory along with room service which will operate 24 hours. Like four star properties, we have a comparison between grade A cities and other cities in case of five star and five star deluxe hotels also. In grade A cities, one multi cuisine restaurant come coffee shop which will operate for 24 hours is mandatory. It is mandatory for five star and five star deluxe hotels to have a specialty restaurant indoor or outdoor just like a four star hotel. The indoor restaurant must be air conditioned serving a specific form of cuisine and may open for lunch or dinner along with room service which will again operate for 24 hours. In others, one multi cuisine restaurant come coffee shop which will operate for 24 hours is mandatory. However, the specialty restaurant is desirable. So there is a relaxation in this case and 24 hours of room service is mandatory. Regarding the crockery and glassware, it's necessary for all categories of hotels to have proper crockery and glassware. Plastic ware, especially, please quote, only the food grade plastic is only allowed in the poolside area if there is an outlet there. Regarding cutlery, stainless steel good quality cutlery is necessary for all categories of hotels. Please note, aluminium cutlery or any other cutlery below stainless steel is not allowed. However, 
EPNS may be used and is widely used in the hotels. Regarding bar, it's desirable for one, two and three star hotels to have a bar. However, it's necessary for four star, five star and five star deluxe hotel to have a bar. Please note, wherever there is a bar, procurement of bar license first is mandatory. Bar will not be mandatory wherever prohibited by the local law. Well, whatever is on the plate is created somewhere and the magic happens in the kitchen or commonly known as the food production area. So let's talk about the food production area and the criteria under the HRACC. The food production areas of all kitchens of all star category necessarily have to have a refrigerator with deep freezer. And the capacity of this refrigerator depends on the quantum of F&B service operations. Well, there is vegetarian food and non-vegetarian food. And in non-vegetarian food, there are different types of meats and seafood. They must not be stored together. And it is made mandatory by HRACC to store all these in different areas and all the star category hotels necessarily have to have different storage, segregated storage for all vegetarian food, meats and seafood. Like our home, hotels also use chopping boards. However, they use different chopping boards for different type of foods and they may be color coded as well. And it's a necessary criteria under HRACC for all star category hotels to follow the same. Well, we all like to have clean food. Who would like food with hair in it? So it's mandatory for kitchen staff or food production staff or chefs who are cooking the food to cover their heads. And it is made necessary for all star category hotels to follow this criteria. If the surface of the kitchen is not clean, it may contaminate the food and it will create a very grim situation for FNB outlets. It, they may even close due to that. HRACC has mandated all the star category hotels to have a daily germicidal cleaning of the surfaces of the kitchen. It's necessary for all the kitchens to use food grade stainless steel equipments. An exception to this is aluminium vessels, which are prohibited in all the kitchens except bakery. Well, when we cook, there is a large amount of steam, maybe a little bit of smoke from places like Tandoor that can accumulate in a kitchen. So it's mandatory and has been made mandatory by the HRACC for all star category hotels to have ventilated kitchens, a ventilation system installed in the kitchens. During the processing of raw ingredient, we generate garbage. It's kind of inevitable. And HRACC mandates the segregation of wet and dry garbage. They also mention that it is desirable for one and two star hotels to have air conditioned wet garbage areas, whereas it is necessary for three star, four star, five star and five star deluxe hotels to have air conditioned wet garbage segregation areas. A chef can provide a clean and healthy food only if he or she himself or herself is healthy. Keeping this important point in mind, HRSCC has made it necessary for all star category hotels to get a six monthly medical checkup for their food production staff. Working in kitchen has to be very careful. It's an accident prone area because there is use of sharp objects like knives and skewers. And there are very hot areas because it includes use of fire for cooking, 
coal for cooking and in fact ovens for baking it has been made necessary for all star category hotels to train their kitchen staff in first aid pests are a threat to food they are enemies of the food and all areas that handle food must be pest free it is mandatory for all star category hotels and it has been mentioned in the criteria by hrscc that all star category hotels must ensure that there is efficient pest control in their kitchens and they would check the records when they come for inspection well that's quite an exhaustive list of criteria regarding the fnb outlets and food production areas in a hotel but that's necessary for healthy food to be served to the guests that's all for today in the next video we shall talk about staff and welfare facilities for them and the code of conduct for to be followed by them along with the guest services which may be desired or necessary for the star category hotels till then stay safe